Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For whatever reason, this ear is completely like stopped up. I can't hear anything out of this ear, so I feel like I've been shouting a lot more than normal. <laughs> but when you can't hear out of your ears, you have to talk louder, so you feel like, anyway. So if I'm shouting, I'm sorry, maybe turn your volume down a little bit. I apologize, because I can't hear, so. <laughs> Here we go. So I have a collective haul from a place that I did not expect to find nail polish stuff. Um, my son needed a new pair of snow pants and we ended up stopping at Burlington Coat Factory. I did not know this and maybe some of you guys are like, well, yeah, a doy. Where have you been? I did not realize that Burlington Coat Factory also had like makeup and beauty as one of their departments. They don't really sell nail polish on their own, but they come out with these sets that are just like, Incredible. So these are a couple of the things that I have found at my local Burlington Coat Factory. And if you don't shop at Burlington, try it out. I don't know. I've been finding some really interesting things at Burlington. So this is a collection of things that I have purchased at Burlington over the past, like, I want to say three months. They do occasionally have some, like, single bottles that they sell, but that's not very often. It's very rare when you actually find single bottles of polish. But I did find two. These are both Oralies. Um, from what collection, I have no idea. The first one here is called Masked Ceremony, a kind of silvery gray, asphalt coal kind of texture polish. It has silver square glitters and then micro purple metallic glitters. Unfortunately, when you're actually applying it to the nail, you get more of purple mini metallic glitters than you do of the, the silver squares. But you can actually get this opaque in about two to three coats. It's a little bit fun. And I got it for like $2 at Burlington Coat Factory because it was on clearance. So I don't know. Go to Burlington, see what you can find. The next one is Lavish Bash, and this is another glitter that can be used as a topper, and it's gold. So it's a lot of finely milled gold glitters with a couple of micro holographic glitters, some micro bar glitters, and some larger holographic glitters. It's really, really pretty. The rest are like gift sets. I'm gonna start with uh, this one because it's a brand I've never heard of before. Make Max Makeup Sherry Moya, and I'm pretty sure this is just like the sprinkles kind of packaging collection. Normally this is $16. Burlington had it marked down to $7.99, and then I got it on clearance for like $3. All of them are creams, and we have these beautiful, beautiful colors. There's mint, which is a mint color. It's an, I really like it. Key Lime Pie, which is again this really vibrant lime green, the Irish cream, and it's a more muted mint color. Barbie pink, and it is exactly a Barbie pink. There's that kind of magenta pink that's just adorable. Next to last one is a neon pink, and it's very, 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 very neon. Nothing more to say about that. The last one is called Bunny Slippers, and it's kind of an odd yellow beige color. It's an interesting color. I don't think it'll work quite so well on my skin tone, but it might be interesting for some nail art. We'll find out. Not a bad collection for $3, so I don't know. The other collection that I got from Burlington is the Ciate Dollhouse Collection. Inside we have five Ciate polishes that are all pastel, and they say that it has a porcelain finish. So basically that's just a matte kind of satiny finish. These are all opaque in about two coats. This one is... Sweet Pea, which is a very light pistachio green. Another one from that collection is called Paper Doll. It's just a classic white. Can't say anything bad about it. The next one though is called Baby Doll. It's a coral pastel and it's it's really pretty. The second to last one is called Pop It. A really beautiful lilac color, I love it. And the last one is one that I'm like, is called Doll Face, and it's just your average nude color. I'm excited to play with these for a little bit more in the spring. The next one was kind of exciting. I don't know. When I saw it, I was like, what? This is insane. This is Orly. These are all minis from Orly. There are 18 mini Orlys in this package, and they're all divided by, uh, we have nudes, we have pinks, and we have glitters down here. I will probably do a separate video all about these ones just because there are so many in this collection. Um, that I won't talk about all of them here in this video, so this is a video to come. But still, this is like an insane amount of polish for $10. I just wanted to show it to you in my haul because that's what this video is. So The last two are the ones that I'm excited about the most. These are NYX Advanced Formula Nail Polish. These are incredible. These both retail for $20. 
and I got them for, I got this one for five and I got this one for 10. First off, I didn't even know NYX had nail polish. I don't see it at Ulta, I don't see it at Target or anywhere else that carries NYX products. So I had to look this up online to see like, what is this? And sure enough, they do sell two types of polishes. They sell like a regular kind and this is like their higher end, $5 a bottle, so it's not that high end. The packaging is very reminiscent of a Deborah Lippmann. Um, so it's kind of that square bottle with the beveled edges. These are all cream polishes and the color payoff is fantastic in all of these. All of these are opaque in two coats. Some of them like the red and the coral orange here, those are opaque in one coat, which is incredible. The last one that I have here, I am super pumped about this. These are all neons from NYX and um, I'm excited to test them out and to see what they look like. There's a lot of beautiful colors in this collection as well. Okay, so that is it. That was a collective haul from Burlington Coat Factory for the last like two and a half months. Check out Burlington. I mean, I've been thoroughly impressed with the things I've been able to find there. Um, like I said, they don't have single bottles, usually at least at my Burlington, they don't have single bottles, but their nail polish collections are very impressive. And when they go on clearance, they are such a good deal. So yeah. Check out your Burlington. You never know what you may find. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. I do all lots of fun th and fun things with nail polish and nail doodads and whatnot. So uh, yeah, stick around if you'd like to see a little bit more of that. But thank you again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!